my name is Camille. I am French, but I live in Germany. I am a student. I chose to, came, to come to this project because I was really intrigued by the topic of the um, meeting and the nationalities of the participants. So I was really interested in meeting young people coming from Armenia and Turkey and Germany and France. And I was intrigued because I did not know so much about Turkey and Armenia. I am Hannah, I am 26 years old. Every morning we started with language animation, so it's about bringing the four languages and like learning the basic things like saying hello and thank you, and stuff like that. You learn something about relations between countries, especially about countries you normally don't talk about in school. So since I went to school in Germany, I learned a lot about French. I learned a bit about Turkey, but I never learned something about Armenia. So I'm Maria, uh, I come from Armenia, I'm 25 years old. Uh, last year I participated in the second round of, the, of this, this exchange uh, program and um, it was really my goal, let's say, uh, to visit Strasbourg as well. Like one of the biggest motivation, uh, motivations I had uh, is to visit the European institutions. So I had the chance and I'm really happy for that. We always had the afternoons an appointment, like in two European institutions, the EU Parliament and the Council of Europe. And yeah, that it was in the town hall. And besides, there was always the time to work on the project. We visited the European Youth Foundation. We went to the Council of Europe. So it was a very great and privileged program. Uh, we had um, meetings with people working at these institutions who explained to us how Europe works, how the institutions work, how the Council of Europe, for example, uh, defends um, or works for defending the rights of people all across Europe. Hello, I'm Sharif. Uh, I'm coming from Turkey. I'm studying in university at the Finance Faculty Photography Department. Everyone should, you sh they should uh, join the, like this project and everyone should uh, be in the European Union project, I think so. Every day we uh, worked with uh, our groups. Uh, we, we try to learn the new uh, words from different languages. We try to solve some problem about our history, our life and our system. And I think so we did it. So we had uh, lots of um, activities. So we had chance uh, to explore the region, uh, Strasbourg. And we interviewed locals, uh, asking them about the past, uh, the history, what they know about the surrounding. We technically every day did something together in the room at first. I know, talking about a specific subject or like just any kind of group work. And then we split up in groups to figure out a subject about which we want to talk or make our final presentation. We learned many uh, words uh, in Turkish, in uh, French and German. We had a pretty impressive group work, so we could we were completely free to choose our topic, to choose the people we work with. And um, yeah, so it was really great because everyone could really choose uh, what he or she wanted to work on and uh, discover something new with the topic, but also with the people we worked with. So I was very lucky to have all four nationalities in my group and we did a pretty cool work. <laughs> 
Yeah, so I learned a lot. We had our presentations. I think this one was the most productive one for me uh, personally. I think one of the um, best outcomes of the uh, exchange program. So we had chance uh, to visit and interview uh, people who are related to our topic. Uh, the Algerian lady uh, from the consulate, uh, the Turkish scholar from the university and Armenian uh, community representatives. So I understand why it can be overwhelming. You see all these nationalities and you think, oh my God, I, how can I participate? But I would just tell you, do it, try it. Um, I learned so much in just one week. Take the, the opportunity to meet new people, learn new languages, get new experiences and just have fun. It was very interesting and it was very uh, enjoyable for me and for us. Uh, especially for the Armenian guys uh, and um, I think not many Armenians had chance to meet Turkish people. It's quite likely to meet people you would never meet otherwise. That's all. Thank you so much for asking.